Hello, this is Bryce from BryceCooley.com, showing you how to do the stuff that I like to do. Today I'm going to show you some of my favorite Google Chrome extensions. Uh, Google Chrome is a web browser that's available on Windows and Mac. I have a Mac. And extensions are basically things that give Google Chrome abilities that they did not have aside from the extensions. The majority of Chrome extensions can be found on the Chrome Web Store, which is chrome.google.com slash web store. Uh, you can also go to chromeextensions.org. This, however, is a third-party Chrome extension store, so there is possibility of the uh, extension not working properly or even causing damage to Chrome, making it so you need to reinstall. Adding extensions to Chrome is very easy. Let's just take the Chrome Web Store, for example. Once you're here, you can search through all the extensions. I'll just take this one click cleaner, for example. I'm going to click on that. It'll take me to the uh, extension page where I can read overviews and reviews and all that stuff. If I like what I see, all I have to do at that point is click Add to Chrome. It'll ask me if I'm sure I want to add it. I click Add, and we're good. One click cleaner for Chrome has been added to Chrome. At that point, whatever page you're on, if you wanted to apply to that page, you just refresh the page, and whatever plugin you installed will now be live on that particular page. Bugs me while I'm online is web ads. I don't know why I never click them, but just their mere presence irks me. And there is a Chrome extension called Adblock that can get rid of this. I have enabled Adblock. You see this site, CNN Money, has an ad right here. I'm going to refresh, so Adblock kicks in. And you notice that ad is now gone and the site looks much more together, much more uh, seamless. Adblock is great and works on most of the sites that I've used. Have you ever seen the TV show Extreme Couponers? Those people are crazy. They spend hours sifting through and cutting out coupons in the newspaper. This is 2013. There's an easier way to do it. If you like to shop online, you know that a lot of sites have spots where you can put in various promotional codes. You can often search through the web and find these promotional codes, but there's actually uh, two Google Chrome extensions that do this for you. The one I've had the most luck with is coupons at checkout. So let me just enable that really quick. I will go back to this Urban Outfitters site. I got a uh, shirt there, and I'm going to click on this. And you see right there it comes up with two possible coupons to try out. Save 10% and save 50%. And it even gives you whether or not they've expired, how long ago they were last used, etc. This is a really good way to go to the different stores online and see if you can find some promotional codes. Again, that's called coupons at checkout. If you've ever been out of the country, you may have noticed that certain sites like Netflix or Hulu or Pandora are blocked out of the United States. Not in all countries, but in several countries. There is actually a Chrome extension that will allow you to view Netflix and Hulu and listen to Pandora outside of the U.S. That extension is called Ola Unblocker. Now, I am not sure by what wizardry they allow this to happen, but... It works. I've heard testimonies from several people that it works. And so if you are someone who travels out of country or planning a trip this summer, I would say download and install this and hope for the best. If you're online a lot, chances are you're putting in username and passwords on a lot of sites. If you are not very secure, chances are the username and password are the same and you really should change that. However, if you have multiple usernames, multiple passwords, sometimes it can be obnoxious trying to remember these. That's where this plugin comes in. Plugin LastPass is a password manager that's free that works to remember all of your passwords and even on ones that you set it to, to auto log in. Now, for example, sites like Wells Fargo, 
you do not want that to auto log in. If someone got a hold of your computer, they could automatically log in and get into all of your financial stuff, and you don't want that to happen. So, though Last Password has my Wells Fargo information, it does not automatically log in. But my website, for example, which is not as secure as far as the data that it has, if I go to the login page, you'll notice that there are these two stars right here. This is LastPass, and it is going to automatically log into my site. It doesn't save me tons of time, but it definitely saves me a little memory. So if you misplace your password a lot, or you want to be more secure and have different username and passwords for each site, but don't know if you can remember it all, that's all right. LastPass can do it for you. cousin of YouTube is a site called Vimeo.com. You can think of it as YouTube for people who make high quality videos as opposed to what YouTube is typically associated with. There is a pro There is a plugin called Vimeo Download Videos that allows you to download any video that you find. Let me enable that really quick. And I'm going to go to this page. Now this does not kick in until you have hit play on the video. So once you've found the video that you want, click play and you see up here this little TV has started. Click on this, it'll bring a thumbnail and the HD button, which is asking you to download an HD, and you click on that and you see the video starting to download down here. That's Vimeo Download Videos. In the same vein as Vimeo Download Videos, you have Ultimate YouTube Downloader. Now this is from the third party site chromeextensions.org, so installing it is a little different. I'll show you how that works. So once you've gone to chromeextensions.org, you searched Ultimate YouTube Downloader, you go to the page and click Add to Chrome. You're going to get this warning that says apps, extensions, and user scripts cannot be added from this site. Just click OK. That's fine. You see down here you have downloaded it. Click here, go show in Finder, and you're going to go to your extensions page. So again, this is in Chrome's settings under extensions. All you do is click and drag this extension file into Chrome. It says drop to install. You do that, you click add, and at that point you can go to a YouTube video. I'll do one that I made and you'll see this window right here. Download this video and it gives you multiple options. You can download it in HD or many sizes down below. You can also convert it to MP3. I'll download it in HD because who doesn't like HD? And you see it's starting down there. It's downloading an 84 megabyte file which is right on the money. And that's how you download videos off YouTube. Though it often seems that YouTube is the evidence that our modern culture is going down the tubes, let's be honest, most of us are on there a lot. Also, if we're honest with ourselves, we know that waiting that five to seven seconds in order to click the skip this ad button is way too long. That's where this Chrome extension screw ads comes in. I did not name it, that's just what it is. If you enable this, it will block, skip, or remove any YouTube ad that you may come across. No more YouTube ads for you. Of course, in making this video, none of the YouTube ads that I checked out actually had ads, so I could not show it to you, but it works. Just trust me.